UFC 297 is taking place this weekend. I'm going to predict Sean Strickland versus Driscus Duplessis. But before I do, let's just talk about Driscus Duplessis' rise to the spot. He's a guy that a lot of people have doubted through most of his UFC run, whether it be he has the cardio issues or He's not the most technical striker. Or maybe Bobby Knuckles is a guy that is probably going to quote-unquote fraud check him. They get to the spot. I'll be the guy to say I have backed just because he plays for the majority of his career. And if a random person asked me why, to be quite honest with you guys, I couldn't tell you. <laughs> there have been moments in which his career where it looked like, okay, this is going to come to a halt. The Trevin Giles fight, to me, was a test for a guy like Driscus Duplessis because I said, okay, he's going to go up against an experienced UFC vet. Surely, we'll know what he has. Knocked him out in round two. He fought Darren Till. That really wasn't even a, really a competition. I feel like at that point, Darren Till was fighting for paychecks. Then he went in there against a stud in Brad Tavares, and everybody said, surely Brad Tavares, a guy that has been a absolute thorn in potential contenders' side in the UFC, Surely Brad Tavares is going to somehow make life difficult for a guy like Driscus Duplessis. That's what a lot of people were thinking. Then you heard the people say, Derek Brunson is going to wrestle Driscus Duplessis and that, 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 uh, that gas tank is going to rear its ugly head again. He beat Derek Brunson from pillar to post, knocked him out again, round two. When the entire world was saying Driscus Duplessis was going to lose to Bobby Knuckles. And he was a plus 300 underdog. That was a that was an easy bet for me to make. I backed Driscus Duplessis because I believed in his power. I believed that if he touched Robert Whitaker, it would cause significant damage. And what do you know? It did exactly that. So it brings me to this next spot. Sean Strickland should be able to walk Driscus Duplessis down with a heavy boxing style approach, the Philly Shell style defense, roll with the punches, and just jab to the body, tire a guy like Driscus Duplessis out, and get him out of there in the later rounds. That would be the lazy prediction. That is what you're going to hear from most people. I'm of the belief that while that should happen, it won't happen. I believe that Driscus Duplessis is truly powerful, and I believe that one punch from a guy like Driscus Duplessis can change the trajectory of a fight, and I think that's going to happen here. I think a lot of people are just expecting Sean Strickland to walk him down and win this fight. I like Sean Strickland, first and foremost. I appreciate his brashness, his, his, honest, his honesty, and he's just un unapologetically him. That being said, I'm officially picking Driscus Duplessis to get Sean Strickland out of there. It's going to be one of those things where these are both guys that like to put pressure on you. They both don't like to back up. And, you know, the easy prediction would be, hey, whoever backs up first is going to lose. Yeah, I'm not buying that. I think Sean is going to walk into something. I think Sean's going to walk into something. And while I'm not a wizard or a sorcerer, I can't tell you what he's going to walk into. All I can tell you is, and new. I'm not sure.